Hi there, it's Rolando and I'm bringing you another tutorial on how to get the best possible picture when using your Poly Studio P5 and P15 webcams. Let's say you're getting ready for that online meeting or that live stream and you plug in your Poly Studio P15 and you realize your shot looks like this. When you really want it to look like this. On today's tutorial, we look under the hood of the PolyLens PC app to optimize the picture quality of the P5 and P15 webcams. Now, if you're at home using a ring light or studio lights like I have in my home office, you'll want to stay tuned as we explore how this affects the picture quality. Now, before we get started, I want to remind you to hit that like and subscribe button so that you get notified of upcoming tutorials. Now, if you didn't know, Plantronics and Polycom merged and are now called Poly. And as a result, they've changed their brand and lineup. Poly has recently released the P series line, which consists of the P5 and the P15, as well as the P21. We're not showcasing the P21 today, just the 5 and the 15. And these products are primarily geared towards business professionals. What I want to show you is how both of these cameras work under different conditions. See what you think about them. Here are different shots from both the P5 and P15 using the default settings with different lighting conditions. The P5 is a budget friendly camera. It's under $200 and won't break the bank, but it only shoots in 1080p, whereas the P15 will shoot in 4K. This is why you'll see a difference in picture quality between both cameras during these camera shots. So as you can see, the P5 and the P15 do quite well under low light conditions. But when you add additional lights or a ring light for enhanced picture quality, you'll need to make some adjustments in the Poly Lens app. Let's dive in. In the Poly Lens app, all the settings are set right down the middle, right out of the box. You're set to auto on all of these settings. You may find a bunch of other settings down here uh, that have to do with tracking and movement. We're just going to stick to the picture quality. And those are these four or five settings up at the top. All right, as you can see, you've got several settings and usually with uh, more light, you're going to want to bring the brightness now. So we're going to just monkey around with these settings a little bit. You can see immediately that the picture quality starts improving. So I'm just going to bring the brightness now even even further. And this is where you're going to want to see where the picture quality is optimal for your lighting. But the brightness would be the first place. Let me go back so you can see what it looks like. This is the default. As you can see, I'm climbing down, bringing down this brightness. I think it's somewhere in there is good. Uh, contrast is going to give you either a little bit more color or a little bit more black. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit just so you can see what that's like. And you can see if you happen to like a picture quality like that with a lot more black, then you bring it up. Otherwise, you just bring it down. Let's take it the other way just so you can see that. That looks too washed out with a lot of noise. So that's about right. The other thing here is the saturation. We're going to bring that up. You see, it gave me some more color on my skin tone. This is where if you've got a, if you're fair complected, lighter skin, this is, this is the setting that may give you that nice little tan, that maybe that spray tan that you're looking for, but definitely right here is somewhere in there. I like a little bit of color. Uh, I have a lot of color on me, but I like a little bit more color just to look a little more vivid. The rest of the settings, I would just leave them as is if you've got a really good picture. Now, I've already gone ahead and changed and tweaked the studio settings. I've got that saved here in the favorites as a preset. And that's really simple to do. I'll show you how to do that in a moment. And you can see that my picture, I like it a little bit more with black and a little bit more tone in it. But as you can see as the settings, the, my brightness is to the lower end, a little bit more contrast and just slightly just off centered to the right with the saturation. I've got the white balance set on auto, backlight turned on, the exposure is towards the lower end. And that's all you need to do. Now let me show you how to do the uh, settings or set as a new favorite. So all you go in here, if you wanted to change that, I'll just change the name to setting studios number two. Voila. Now, if you happen to have other lights, if your conditions change, you can go back in and change that so that if you have other 
types of situations or other lighting conditions, you can just quickly and easily change that right with your presets that you've already saved. And with the P5, you have a similar situation where the default settings has most of these sliders down the middle. What, what we realized is that turning up the gamma was one of those key things in the P5. So although they're very similar devices, you have to take a slightly different approach. And now let me show you what those settings looked like for our studio setup. As you can see, it immediately changes the picture. The gamma had to go up, a backlight down, and this exposure also taken off of auto and bright bringing the exposure down. And now that we've tweaked the settings in the Poly Lens app, let's take a look at both cameras with the optimized settings. I just want to say, Polly, if you're watching this video, give us a little bit more control when it comes to the sliders so that you can more easily make incremental changes within the Poly Lens app. And there you have it. That's how you optimize the P5 and the P15 Studio Series webcams using the Poly Lens PC app. If you found this tutorial helpful, go ahead and like and subscribe. If you got questions or suggestions for a future tutorial, send us a comment. I'll look at those and we'll consider those for a future episode. We have other helpful videos and tutorials. Check it out right here and I'll see you in the next one.